Welcome to Code Media. Learn more, express more. Everyone, hope you are doing well. Now this video, I'm going to demonstrate what is the difference between trigger new and trigger old. Trigger new defines the current value of the record which being operated in DML operation. DML operation like before update, before insert and the trigger old defines the existing value of the record which to be which to be or used to be modified in DML operation. Next slides will demonstrate in a video formatting how to use this trigger new and trigger old. This is an object and these are the fields. I have created number of data type fields. Now I am going to create one trigger on this object. Here let's provide a name for this trigger. Name must be suitable and the event. Here I am defining before insert. Now we need to fetch the trigger new which is the current records which being modified or which being operated through the DML operation. Here copy the field and for the, we are going to set the value for this field. So once this trigger will be executed one any record will be inserted it will run the for loop and will set the value for this field as insert successful. This is the debug log where we can monitor the status of the trigger. Now let's create one record with some values. You can see the field one has been updated with the desired value that is inserted successfully. Now if you want to use the debug log for a particular user activity you'll have to set the user in this way. Here the current login of this user which has been set here. Now we are going to see the status of this trigger activity in the debug log. This for the for just the identification. Now what this trigger new value holding we can see let's create another record with some values for date field the values and the currency field some arbitrary value and this is the email field and let's save the value. We can see what is the current that means the current execution holding. Now if we reload this page see debug log has been logged here for this current user and we can see this debug log has been logged here for this object these are the value of the fields so you can easily monitor 
what is going on with this trigger execution so this was the trigger new so we can see the current status is being hold here current instance of this record which holding these values email field as fox automation at the to gmail.com Now let's see what is the debug log saying for this trigger new and trigger log, trigger old. Here we have changed the for loop syntax saying this that i is equal to 0 which is integer, integer type and thus it will execute for trigger new dot size which is the record number of record which is being operated so for a particular records which are being operated here we'll have the field one value as insert successful and we have logged here system debug as trigger old and trigger new Now let's create the record and we save it. See this trigger old holding null value and trigger new holding the current value which was used to save the record. So once the record is created its previous value is nothing here we have used one checkbox for more specific example So this trigger old having null value as before insert there is no value holding in the record and this is these are the current values of the record so we can fetch this record and we, we can use it in particular applications So this trigger old is meaningless or nothing for trigger in insertion before insertion. Now going for the operation of update before update we want to log the history of a particular field value change that is currency field this will be logged in the into the description
so this will have the old new value and this will will have the old values okay let's check now we are going to update this record from 1 to 12 for this value of this field and we can see the description has been logged as current the, the currency value old currency value was 1 and the new currency value is 12 now just inline editing and we save it and again we can see that another has been logged as old value as 12 and again new value as 12 so we need to remove this duplicate entry so how we are going to accomplish this we need to use trigger old and trigger new this is the perfect application if trigger new value is not same as old value so if we just save it again there will be no logging of the same entry see nothing has been logged well we have avoided first we have uh, achieved our first goal this null entry is not being removed we need to remove that one so how this this is possible we just adding one condition here saying that if this description field old value was null then change it to blank if we save it and we change the value to a particular value we can say that th this has been removed again now we just need to do a formatting here for this new line just add this new line entry and changing it from 12 to 13 we can see this has been properly formatted again so this is how we can track all the fields history tracking by just writing the, a single trigger the Salesforce having limitation like it can track only 20 fields history tracking now using this trigger old and trigger new we can easily create more than 20 fields history tracking easily so this is the code now if you like this video please subscribe